This is your Feel Good Breakfast Show, Expresso. And we're live on three. Thanks so much for joining us on this Monday morning. Now, for the past five years, some of the country's top singletons are competing in the SA Bachelor and Bachelor Red competition of the year. The competition is geared towards finding someone who encompasses brains, beauty, entrepreneurship, and the spirit of Ubuntu, people that can really stand out and make a difference and also create awareness through their charities and community work. Well, this past weekend, the winners of the 2015 uh, Bachelor and Bachelor Red Gala, they were announced in Johannesburg, and this is what went down on Saturday. 2015, wine <laughs> Ladies and gents, and the SA Bachelorette for 2015. <laughs> Samantha Eaton! Well, they are winners. We're crowned over the weekend, <laughs> guys. I have to say, congratulations, first of all. Thank you so much. Wayne Stafford and Samantha Eaton in our studio. It took eight months of great and hard work. You deserve to win this competition. But, guys, did you have time to relax over the weekend? You know, it has been so crazy. Um, but we have, in a, in a way, found a little bit of time. But uh, it's great to be here in Cape Town. Yes, thank you. This is this is rare. I see that this land where you spend eight months of hard work, but then you go and then you end up with the semi-finals, the seven women and seven men. So it's a very straf competition. How did you make sure that you stand out? I think we have hard work. That's the reason we have stood out. We have not done the most we have done for our own organizations, and we have not done the best we have done for ourselves. I think that's the reason. I love the fact that it's a competition in the all on stage. It's quite glamorous as well. This is competition. Once again, our focus is on our future, our children. Now, you also work with a whole bunch of charities. Why is it so important for young people to get more involved and to be part of this cause? Look, I think it's very important to give back. I always say that the, the purpose of life is a life with purpose. Mm. And uh, the charities that I worked with was the Amadeo Home of Safety, the Louis Boetzer Children's Home, as well as Food Bank South Africa. And I worked with Jacaranda Children's mm. Home, an amazing organization that just helps children grow and reach their full potential. It was an amazing mm. opportunity. I can imagine with this title, Sam, and I can't help but pointing it out, there's a major responsibility because uh, you were chosen based on how you give back entrepreneurship. I mean, what do you plan going forward, Wayne? Well, well going forward, I mean, like you say, with, with this title respons it comes responsibility. Mm. So uh, there's obviously a lot of projects that want to set in place. And uh, one will continue with the good work that we are doing. Mm. Yes, yeah. and just to uphold the name yes. of the competition, uphold the charities, organisation, just do our best this year and... Yeah, put best foot forward, upwards and onwards. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have to point this out because I was on, on Wayne's social media platforms and I saw you uh, tweeting about it and talk. Has the journey been fun? Has it been, I mean, I know that you're working really hard and you really want this title because there's a lot of good work in association mm. with it. But the journey itself, what was it like? Look, it, it was definitely a lot of fun, but also very challenging. Mm. Um, I've, I thoroughly enjoyed it. One worked with a lot of people, I mean, yeah. a lot of companies, a lot of um, sponsors, so mm. it, it was awesome. Yeah, it was amazing, mm. um, amazing. Learn, learning new things, meeting new people, hard work pays off at the end of the day, and I think that's what we did. Well, hard amazing. work does pay off, Samantha, <laughs> in our studio, together with Wayne Stafford. It sounds fantastic. We also look forward to having these guys in our studio later, because later on around 8 a.m., we are talking about relationships in 2015. We're talking about who actually wears the pants. Is it the man or is it the woman? You also have an opportunity to give us a call on our phone lines, 0839 right? <laughs> these two are already debating as to who wears the pants, but we'll also be asking their opinions as our SA Bachelorette and our Bachelor. This is your Feel Good Breakfast Show. It is time for the news.